Craig, we're here at Trimble Lock and Dam and just look at how high these floodwaters are already. That lock and dam building behind me already partially covered by these floodwaters. We know that the Arkansas Department of Emergency Management, the Army Corps of Engineers, as well as the Arkansas National Guard were all made aware of two employees that might need to be rescued just a few days ago. So we know that these employees were here working to secure the lock and dam, making sure that it stays safe in all of this historic flooding that we're seeing, especially today now that we've hit these historic flood levels that's when the Arkansas National Guard decided today was the day they need to get these employees out they were able to remove them safely with a helicopter but we also know that wasn't their first attempt at a rescue we sent out uh, a, a zodiac boat which is just a, just a small boat to uh, attempt to make contact with the crew that was unsuccessful uh, given the water pressure the flow the levels so then it was pretty much determined that we were going to need an aviation asset uh, to complete that mission. We know that those two employees are doing OK tonight. And what's pretty interesting, we showed you just how high these floodwaters are. But Stephen Wright, he's the corporal we just heard from. He mentioned that those employees could have stayed in that building behind me for another three days before the situation became dire. But they figured, you know what? Today's the day. Get them out while they still can safely and easily. Reporting live from Sebastian County, I'm Jamie Weiss, 4029 News.